Good morning, Cedar Park. Today is Monday, January 30th, 2023, and it's an A-Day. Let's recap robotics competition this past weekend and meet the members of the Women in Science and Engineering Club. Today's headline on the brief with Brian Green. Plus, your Monday sports report where you'll find out this week's Alpha Wolf. Turn it up because the Wolfcast starts now. Broadcasting from Studio 2101 in Cedar Park, Texas, this is the Wolfcast. Good morning, Cedar Park, and welcome back. I'm Reagan Hill, and I'm here this morning with Reed Cummins and Katie Whitmarsh. Our FTC Robotics are heading to state after winning, their, winning first place in this weekend's regional finals with their alliance partners. This is a record-breaking year for the robotics building team. Over the course of the year, they placed first out of 34 teams after their first two qualifying rounds and third at their third tournament. They also won the innovative award for their hardworking robot. We spoke with FTC head of software, John Matistic. We focus a lot on efficiency because we have very small fields and our robot is very tiny. So we have to deal with very little. We have two teams in FTC. We have our 14361 and 14363, um, which is our younger team, our rookie team. And uh, with 14361, we have our design that we've been modeling for a while where it'll pick up cones and then flip them with an arm backwards and place them on top of poles. And the younger FTC team has gone with a um, simple linear slide mechanism that grabs a cone and lifts it up. They've been doing great this year as well. Well, we really are proud of them. We have a lot of great people there and they're awesome. All the younger kids there have a lot of motivation too and they go and do their own practices and they practice everything together and have evolved great as a team. They're doing amazing for a rookie team. You can follow the FTC Robotics Instagram at robolobos underscore 14361 to keep up with the updates as they progress to state regionals. Make sure to wish them luck. The WISE Club is back for a new semester and are actively recruiting new members. Women in STEM and Engineering, also known as WISE, is a club designed to promote inclusivity within the field of STEM and to help people feel more confident about subjects within the STEM field. At a typical meeting, officers teach the group about a famous woman in STEM, followed by a brief experiment or activity, usually connected to the woman that was discussed. People, uh, people generally are kind of um, discouraged by science and math. It's very challenging. So we try to promote a very fun and exciting learning environment for anybody who wants to learn more about STEM. And we always try to make sure that people feel comfortable and encourage people to follow a passion that they want to pursue. The club's next meeting will take place tomorrow, Miss Truebloods. Make sure to come and learn more about women in STEM. Coming up, Ryan Green joins us with today's headlines in this morning's brief. But first, this break. Happy Monday, Cedar Park. First up, a winter storm watch has been issued for the Hill Country along with Travis and Williamson counties from 12 p.m. today until 12 p.m. Wednesday. Today, temperatures should remain just above freezing, so we won't see anything too drastic, but tonight temperatures will drop below freezing, increasing the likelihood of freezing rain. The highest likelihood of icing issues will be across the Hill Country. Next, Memphis police released four videos related to the death of Tyree Nichols on Friday night. The five officers responsible have been fired and charged with second-degree murder. These officers could face up to 60 years in prison if convicted. Finally, it's official. The Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs will be playing in this year's Super Bowl. Last night, the Eagles defeated the San Francisco 49ers 31-7 to advance to the Super Bowl, and the Chiefs beat the Cincinnati Bengals 23-20 to meet the Eagles there. The Super Bowl will take place Sunday, February 12th at 5.30 p.m. So what do you guys think about the Super Bowl? So, me and Abby were joking because we might end up in Missouri for college, and so we're Team Kansas City, <laughs> so that by the time they get there, they have another Super Bowl under their wing. See, none of my teams advanced that far, so like, I don't oh, really know who Who are you a fan for. of? The Saints. Oh, okay. Yeah, Odd. but they didn't get that far, so I mean, like, I don't really know who I'm going to be voting for, but... Um, definitely, 
going to be going to a Super Bowl party this Sunday. Yep. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, yeah. Read. Kansas City Chiefs. I okay. Have, I have a... Nobody's going for Philadelphia? No. no. Uh, no. I'll go for Philadelphia. I feel state. like the Chiefs win too much. So. <laughs> yeah, be the opposing Okay, person. that is fair. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Next to your Monday sports report. But first, these announcements. Welcome back to the Wolfcast Sports Report. I'm Katie Whitmarsh. And I'm Reed Cummins. Let's start with our soccer teams. The boys tied with Lehman after having two red cards pulled on the team, but sticking it out with only nine players. Tomorrow night, they are here at home against Lockhart. Make sure to come head out to the field at 715 for some Cedar Park soccer. Moving over to the girls, they had a complete blowout win against Lehman, winning 7-0. So far, the team is ranked third in district and is ready to move up the list. Their next game will also be tomorrow night, this time in Lockhart. Good luck, ladies. And let's switch it up and go over to Cedar Park basketball teams. Our guys had a close game but ultimately fell 51-48 to Hayes. Tomorrow they are back out on the court facing the Glen Grizzlies in their house. The girls also had a loss last Friday against Hayes falling 52-33. But let's keep the mood up. Tomorrow night is a girls home game right here in the Timberdome at 7. It's teacher appreciation night so teachers make sure to come on out and students come to see your favorite teachers being recognized. That's all for the sports report. Now let's meet this week's Alpha Wolf. This week's Student Athlete of the Week is junior football and boys basketball player Reed Vines, nominated by varsity head coach Michael Quintero. Coach Q said that Reed is a dual sport athlete that has excelled as an all district linebacker but is also excelling as a starter on the basketball team. He leads the team in scoring and is a pivotal leader on both teams he plays on. Congratulations, Reed. That's all we have for you today with CPHS News. I'm Katie Whitmarsh. And I'm Reed Cummins. We'll be right back. We're CBHS Ben, and you're watching the Wolfcast! On tomorrow's show, catch a new cooking with Reese and Kira. And go behind the scenes of our broadcast studio renovations. Plus, hiring now and a feature on Garage Band Club. Thanks for taking time to join us during Den. You can catch anything you missed and more on our Twitter or our YouTube at CBHS News. You can also follow at CBHS underscore sports for updates during the games. With CBHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Reed Cummins. And I'm Reagan Hill. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs>